suit. And I'm back. I need a haircut so bad, bro. But I'm back with another fucking banger. So before I even get started, be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Buy my Herbalife products and buy a t-shirt. Link in the description. So I'm making this video and I'm going to put this as like my pinned video too. So y'all will see it when you first, first, first come up to my channel. Um, And I'm not worried about you. I'm really not. But I'm making this video for anybody that judges me off of my YouTube channel. Because I'm not really not worried about you. I'm not here to please you. That's why I make every video shirtless. I'm not in no fucking beauty contest. I'm going to do what I want to do and say what I want to say. And if you don't like it, then kick rocks. Go and subscribe, sucker. <laughs> but I want to make this video because people will say, oh my God, you're this, that, and the other. Uh, blah, 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 blah. And a lot of other YouTubers and content creators, y'all can probably relate to this shit too. Is because people only see the 10 minutes you post on youtube a day people only see the the hype videos the workout videos but y'all don't see every other workout that goes in to be able to put the numbers up in the hype video y'all sit here and judge somebody off how you see them on social media off how they dress off their social media presence off this that and the other and honestly if you have the time to judge somebody and watch somebody's videos and get angry, get envious, and sit there and nitpick through everything they have to say. You're part of the problem. I don't give a fuck. Somebody could be saying some crazy shit on YouTube, but if, it, if the content doesn't concern you and the content's not even for you and you're watching it just to try to judge somebody or just to try to get an inside scoop on somebody so you can sit there and nitpick through what they have to say and look for an excuse not to like them, you're part of the problem. I don't care what they're saying. You're part of the problem. Like... People will sit here and judge the videos I make, the workout videos I make, the videos talking about women, and the videos regarding talking about women. I'm not talking about all of y'all. It just feels like it. So if what I'm saying applies to you, I would look in the mirror, do some soul searching, and really, really check yourself and be like, damn, am I doing some fuck shit? Because I'm not talking about everybody. There are good women out there. I know a couple of them. And they know that there's a lot of bad ones out there, too, that just be dying. So... And the ones that are thotting, their methods need to get exposed so dudes aren't killing themselves, dudes aren't crying, dudes aren't doing this, that, and the other because I almost did that shit, you feel what I'm saying? So I refuse to let anybody else feel how I felt. I said that in the first video I made when I started my channel. Um, people sit here and nitpick about the videos when I talk about relationships and college and all this, that, and the other. And what I'm saying is facts. I don't need you to tell me I'm wrong or I don't need anybody to tell me I'm right because deep down I know what I'm saying is correct. I already know I'm correct. People say I'm correct. And it's a certain type of people that say I'm not correct. So I already know I'm correct. I already know I'm right, but thank you. But what else I want to say about that is that nobody pays attention to the videos I talk about self-improvement, the videos I talk about mental health, and particularly mental health. I make a video talking about mental health, I get maybe 50 views on it. But I make a video talking about some BS, talking about some girls, talking about some thoughts, talking about some women, and I get hundreds of views, a, hundred, a couple hundred to a thousand views. That just shows where y'all priorities are at, and the people that judge me off the, 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 the videos talking about women, this, that, and the other, y'all will, won't bat an eye to the videos that I talk about mental health, to the videos that I talk about real shit, spirituality, religion, whatever. Nobody bats an eye when I talk about mental health and serious things that can actually benefit you. Like, yeah, the women is only a small, small aspect of your life, bro. Because women come and go. Every relationship that you have with a chick right now, every relationship that I have with a chick right now has an expiration date on it. I told some chick that the other night. I'm like, yo, there is a day where we will not be friends anymore. And that's just what it is. You feel what I'm saying? And it's sad. It's the truth. So enjoy every moment with her. But just know she's not yours for the most part. And it's just your turn. You're never the only one. Just be the favorite. Cold things that I learned. I'm trying to think of what else. Um. Yeah, whatever, bro. So people that sit here and judge the content I make about that. And judge me as a person. And let that reflect on my character. Y'all need to really sit here and think about that I'm just trying to spread a message That I'm just trying to relay a message That I'm just speaking facts on one person's situation That they, that other people can apply the knowledge from that situation And apply the nuances of that situation Into their own life so they don't end up getting played But a lot of people don't understand that They think I'm just going on YouTube talking crazy Pulling this shit out of my ass Pulling this shit out of a fucking hat Like I don't know what I'm talking about Like it's crazy bro, it's ludicrous Um, And that's another thing too Is you them same people i hope you find this video and that you guys are the same people that when i talk a video about mental health when i talk about how to not be depressed when i talk about how to not kill yourself how to not feel some type of way how to not feel depressed 
yo, don't even bat an eye to it. Oh, he's still a piece of shit. And given, all right, you have your fair opinion. Everybody has their, their right to a fair opinion. But what I'm trying to say to y'all is that don't just judge somebody. Don't judge a book by its cover. And I'm not just saying this for me because like I said, I have my friends, I have my family, I have chicks. As long as my chicks love me, <laughs> I don't really give a fuck about anything else. But not real shit, like Drake said, bro, as long as my bitches love me. <laughs> but not real shit though, is that, um, yeah, y'all need to not judge a book by its cover. I'm not even saying just for me. I'm just saying this in life, bro. Like, don't judge somebody just because of their social media page. Like, y'all ever looked like, uh, found someone's social media page and think you would hate them? And then you talk to them in real life and you're like, oh, they're actually a cool person. I'm sure that happens with me a lot, a lot of times when people meet me or um, anybody else. You ever had that happen to you before? It's the same shit. You think somebody's a dickhead. You think they're an asshole. You think this, that, and the other until you actually get to know them and sit down and have a conversation with them and be like, yo, they're just like me. We have more in common than on the surface. So you can't ever judge somebody just off their social media page and um, just off how they present themselves, what they wear, how they talk their race, their color, their black, white, orange, green, blue, whatever. I don't judge somebody off their social media page, off their character or off what they wear. I judge somebody off their character and what they bring to society. And if you do judge somebody off, um, off their character, I mean, off, uh, what they wear, their social media page, whatever, whatever. And you, like I said, you have, you have all the time in the fucking world and you should go get a life and go get a job and go get a hobby and go get something that you enjoy doing because most people like me and my boys and kids I know the reason I'm cool with them is because they don't have the time to sit there and hate on somebody else they don't have the time to sit there and read into what somebody's saying and be like oh my god they said this even though half the time on my snapchat I'm just joking about the shit I post but the reason I post shit is one to stir the pot because people are just too dumb to fucking like I post memes and shit that like like you'll you'll get a laugh out of it you feel what I'm saying um but people be too dumb to be like, yo, they're joking. Like, I posted some shit about the Trump riots, right? Y'all probably seen the meme. It was mad funny. It was with Scar from The Lion King, and the dude was climbing the wall, and Scar was sitting on top of the wall. So I posted that, and I had, like, three girls slide up. They're, oh, you know, they're ultra super left radical crazies. But um, they slid up on my story, and they was like, "You, it's people like you that don't take everything serious, that don't take anything serious. I'm like, yo, it's a joke, bro. Live, laugh, and love life, bro. Not everything is that serious, bro. I take politics and I take shit that goes on in the world, bro, as um as a fucking joke, bro. I dead ass just sit back with my popcorn and just relax because none of that shit affects me. I'm going to get my bag regardless. You feel what I'm saying? So if you have the time um, to sit there and nitpick and read into what everybody else is doing that much and slide up and say some angry shit, you need to do some self-reflecting. You need to, um, you're part of the problem because you have too much free time. So you spend hours on end binge watching my channel, binge watching somebody else's channel, binge watching Chris Fanoi, shout out to him, binge watching his channel, binge watching our Red Sings the Blues channel, binge watching Quarantino the God's channel, just shouting out some of my boys. If you have the time to sit there and nitpick through everything they're saying and hate on them, then you're part of the fucking problem. So go get a fucking life. Go get a fucking hobby. Get off the fucking computer and stop prejudging people. Meet them in person, have a conversation with them. And if you don't like them, you don't like them. Like I know a lot of people that don't like me and I don't like them. And that's just what it is. I don't hate anybody, but there's a lot of people that I don't want in my presence. You feel what I'm saying? So there's people out there that hate everything I stand for. And there's a lot of people out there that I don't like what they stand for. And we'll never get along and that's that. You feel what I'm saying? But I don't let, I don't go watching their social media page, lurking on there, finding excuses to hate them. It's just like, nah, I just don't like them, bro. It is what it is. They don't like me. It's cool. It, move on. But don't slide up, say some negative ass shit. Don't slide up nitpicking and reading into everything they're saying. Like, you're just weird for that. You're dead weird for that. You feel what I'm saying? But I'm about to get to the gym, bro. That's all I got for y'all today. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, get a fucking life and buy my Herbalife products and buy a t-shirt and link in the description. Peace out, y'all. Salute. CG signing out, man.